Hey guys, Enzo here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to fold my new design, an origami friendly rattlesnake. There's multi purposes for it. It can just wrap around your finger for a little buddy. It can hug you when you need somebody to love. Um, and it c can also um, be a fan when you're hot. Um, this model is very simple, so I'm going to teach you how to fold it right now. So this model I'm going to be using a 6 inch square of commie paper. And start white side up and fold in half. This is a box pleated model. Fold this edge to the center, please. So first, we're, we're going to fold it into sixteenths in both directions. I don't normally do it in both directions, but I'm just going to do that because it'll be a little bit easier to teach this way. So fold this edge to the um, edge. And repeat. Turn it over. Hold to the center. Um, another thing is, the bigger the paper, the more you want to divide it into. So if you're using 10 inch paper, then I would recommend dividing it into 30 seconds. So we now go to the color side and then take this mountain fold and crush it down to that valley like it's collapsing. And then take this one and fold it down into the valley, mountain to valley, and then just edge to valley. And then like that, and then just take this and fold that down as far as this will go. And keep on repeating. Okay. And then just fold it all up into a fan. And do it all. And then do it all in the other direction. So um I'm also going to do a few videos on things that you can put on this little guy. Um, 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 friendly Rattlesnake is probably my favorite one of my designs, even though I just designed it. It's definitely not the most complex one, but it has the most uses. Um, an, another complex model that I recently folded was this cicada nymph. Um, that was really hard. Again, unfold, crash the mountain onto the valley. Yeah. So, I've been working on a snorkel for this little guy. I'm probably going to teach that next. And I'm also going to make like a little convertible kind of thing. This model, yeah, this model won't actually end up um, green. This one will end up yellow. Sorry if yours ended up white. So... There. 
unfold it. Okay, so this you have this grid and then fold it in half. And then if it's a mountain or a valley, if it's a v mountain, then turn it over. So there you are. And then you want to fold this edge down to that crease. And repeat. And then this is just a box pleat. So I like to fold the pleat completely up. Yeah, this is gonna and you might need to turn it over and then continue doing box pleating. But we're only doing it for one half of the model to make an arm like that. And then you just do it for the other arm too. You might want to do an another crease. Oh, sorry if you didn't already mention that. Just to help you a little bit. Okay. And we're almost done. Okay, so we have this. This mountain folded in half. Okay, so find out the fun. Just this. Reverse fold the head like that. Um, go down down to this tail, and then fold this back like that, and then just curl it around the base like that. Make sure you really get that curled if you want like the ring effect. that and then just make one more fold to the little rattler thingy um I'm just gonna do it like that then so now we're gonna go here do one reverse fold like that to do to have that and then fold that back up so then we better have two flaps. And we're just going to fold those down to make the uh, fangs. Like so. Um, this model can also be called the, like, a uh, hug me snake or something. But it is pretty easy. I like to do little folds to get like a little curly arm effect. Like that. So, this model is simple. You probably completed it. And, yep, I'm gonna do a few more tutorials based on this for like accessories and stuff for it. So, probably first I'm gonna teach a snorkel. Um, see you next time on the 4th grade origamist.